Hey, this is Michael Brent Collings. I'm the author of Grim World, The Witch in the Woods, and I'll be reading a page a day with my real, not at all paid actor kids. Say hi, real kids. Hi. We're gonna be doing this a page a day until it goes viral. I reach 100 pages or I get tired, whichever comes first. So please don't forget to share, like, comment, all that stuff, and help us go viral for Grim World, The Witch in the Woods, which releases March 5th, 2024. The giantess was only 20 feet away easily close enough to reach Jake with her massive mace. She swung it. Willow had time for only a single shriek. Jake! Then the weapon split the air with a deafening boom, even as another earthquake rocked the ground. Willow saw Jake stumble, and she prayed he'd found a way to dodge the giantess's attack. But no, the angle was wrong. The club was too big. The monster was going to hit him. There was no way he could dodge. Jake didn't cry out, not even when the club smashed through him. So hard he seemed to evaporate, his clothing fluttering to the stone floor as the black club embedded its spikes deep in the wall beside the portcullis. A wordless, grief-stricken shriek of pain and terror burst from Willow's lips. She would never see her brother again would never hear him tease her or laugh with her, would never hear his voice other than perhaps in her nighttime terrors or daytime imaginings that she would surely have for as long or as short as she lived. She imagined she heard it already, her brother's voice shouting, run, into her ear. She sobbed. Run, you dumb dope, Jake shouted. Willow stopped sobbing. Jake? She looked to the left where the voice had come from. Nothing there. Seriously, he said again, right in her left ear. If you don't run, you'll never figure out what's happening and you'll be at fault for ruining the universe. Do you really want that on your conscience? Willow gasped and spun in a full circle until she once more faced the portcullis. Beyond it, the giantess was examining the end of her club, a confused frown on her distorted face.